a green light. Oh, green shirt. Super cool. Let's go back to white. And if I go to blue, all of a sudden, I'm in a blue shirt. It's pretty awesome. Okay, what we're going to look at here is how light and surfaces cause the color we see to be what it is. So let's imagine in this upper left hand corner to start with, we have a little location that under white light, like you're seeing it now, is red. So we call this a red surface, and the reason why is because it reflects red light. In other words, if we shine white light on the red surface, it reflects only red. Now remember that white light is actually red, green, and blue. So it's a combination of red light, blue light, and green light all at once. That's white light, regular light like you see from this lamp here. Why does this surface appear red? Simply because it reflects the red light. And that's what we see. What happens to the green and the blue light? It's simply absorbed by the surface due to the chemistry of whatever molecular structure is there. It just absorbs the green and the blue and reflects the red. Now where things get more complicated is what would something look like under different light? What if we shine cyan light on a red surface? Well, cyan is blue and green together. Blue and green light. Well, what's gonna reflect? Nothing. We just saw that blue and green are absorbed. There is no red there to reflect. And if nothing is reflected, then we would see black. So what we would typically call a red surface would appear black under cyan light. And we could even extend that and say it would also appear black under blue light or green light because if there's no red light present, there's nothing to reflect. Now, what if we shine magenta light on a red surface? Magenta light would be a combination of red light and blue light. We shine magenta light on that red surface and we see that the same thing happened like it did before. The reason we call it a red surface is because it reflects red and so we will see it as red. The blue part of the magenta light gets absorbed. Okay. All right, let's bring it up a notch. The yellow in the middle. Again, yellow because we call it yellow under white light. What does that mean? That means that when white light, which is really red, blue, and green light hit it, when white light hits it, then it reflects what we call yellow. Now, for our eyes, that means that it has the ability to reflect both red and green. Red and green together, when it hits our eyes, gives us the sensation of yellow, or the perception of yellow. So we could really say that a yellow surface absorbs blue and reflects red and green. That's why it appears yellow under white light. But what if we only shine red light on the yellow surface? If we shine red light on that yellow surface, yellow reflects red, right? So the red is reflected. What do we see? We see it as red. We don't see it as yellow anymore because there's no green light there to reflect off. There's only red light. So we would no longer call this a yellow surface because we can't tell. If we're only shining red light on it, it would appear red. What if we shine cyan light on this yellow surface? Cyan light is a combination of blue and green. If we shine cyan light on this, what's going to happen? Well, if we look back here, when we shone white light, which was all colors on it, it reflected red and green. 
Well, we don't have red, but we do have green, so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to reflect the green and absorb the blue, just like it always does. That means we're going to see this yellow surface as green, no longer yellow. Very interesting. Let's look at one more set of examples here. Let's look at this cyan surface. We call it cyan because it reflects blue and green. So if we shine white light on it, which is red, blue, and green, then it will absorb the red and reflect the blue and the green, and we will see the cyan color of the surface. That's why we call it cyan, because it reflects blue and green to make us perceive cyan. If we shine blue light on it, we can see here that it reflects blue, so it would appear blue. If we shone green light on it, we see here that it reflects green, so it would appear green. If we shone red light on the cyan surface, it would appear black because it absorbs red, just like we see here. Where it gets a little harder, like we saw on these, is when we shine more complicated light, like yellow. What if we shine yellow light on this surface? Well, yellow is a combination of red and green. So what is this going to appear? We saw up here that it reflects green, so that means it would appear green to us under yellow light. One more, let's say we shine magenta light on this. Magenta light is a combination of red and blue. When we shine magenta light on it, the red is absorbed just like it always is and the blue is reflected just like it always is and so we would see this cyan surface as actually being blue. So the important thing here to think about when we're talking about what color something is, is two things. What light does this surface reflect? And what color light is being shined upon it? It can't reflect something that's not being shined upon it. So you have to think about both of those when we define the color of a surface. All right, to make this color thing a little more realistic, I thought we need colors, we need lights. So I have a fancy little LED light system here shining on my awesome blue-green shirt here. So under white light, we're seeing the color of the shirt, this blue-green color. If I switch it up and I say, I don't want white, I want red, all of a sudden, my colored shirt totally changes Let's go back to white. Oh man, that's amazing. Okay, let's go green. Under green light, oh, green shirt. Super cool. Let's go back to white. And if I go to blue, all of a sudden, I'm in a blue shirt. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go to, I don't know, something that's a little more exciting. Like, how about yellow? Any predictions on what we'll see here? Here goes yellow. Mmm green. Figured that one. Back to white. Well, now what about cyan? Cyan is green and blue light, correct? So if my shirt's kind of a green-blue to start with, not much change if we do a green-blue light, right? Back to white. My favorite one is red. It's super cool. 